Hello, I'd like you to welcome you to the CS362 Structured Query Language for Data Management class. And we're going to go over the install that's required in order to do this particular course. And to do that, we're going to start off by using um, MySQL. So you're going to start off by going to MySQL.com and you're going to click Try Now. And then you'll scroll down to MySQL uh, Community Edition. And with the Community Edition, there's basically three or four things that we're going to need here. Uh, first is the actual server itself. So this is uh, MySQL Community Edition. And then if you want to use the MySQL connectors, uh, that's where you can get your ODPC connectors for Outlook or excuse me, not Outlook, but Microsoft Access and other uh, support drivers. And then we'll also install the MySQL Workbench. So the first thing we want to do is download the SQL, the MySQL uh, server. And depending on what environment you have, whether you have a Windows environment, Red Hat, uh, Mac, or PC, you can select your required platform. And because I'm running a 64-bit installer, all you need to do is the uh, install the MSI installer. You don't have to install the, uh, the zip file. Um, so I'm going to grab that. So we'll download the 64-bit. And you're going to need to register yourself as a user. There we go. So new users, you're going to uh, put in a, a new user registration and then we'll actually save that file to our downloads area. And if I now look in my downloads folder, here's the SQL Server side of it. The next thing that we will also need is, let's sort of close out of here. Go back to the Community Edition, and let's see here, oh here it is, MySQL GUI tool. This is the interface tool that you'll use to talk to the server. And again, they only have a 32-bit version here, so I'm just going to install the Microsoft Windows version of that. They also have it for the Mac as well, so or Linux, uh, or Ubuntu whoever's using the different platforms. So we'll download the MSI installer for that. Okay. And then if you want to use the connectors, typically you would use the ODBC connector. So if you want to have Microsoft Access talk to the MySQL server, you can do that. We'll download that just in case we decide that we want to use that. Yes, we want this one. Okay, so now that is all installed. Now we want to go back over to here, minimize this. And we now want to start by installing the MySQL server first. So we'll run that package. And this is the pop-up window you'll get. And typically what I do is just do a complete install. That way I'll have everything um, that we need. Okay. And then what I also like to do is I like to bring up the task manager. We'll have that just sitting over here in the corner because we'll also make sure that MySQL shows up here. And we continue the install with all the defaults. And once it's installed, which it is, we're now going to launch the configuration wizard. For the server itself. So again we're going to do a detailed configuration. Uh, it's a developer machine so it will be running local on our box. 
we'll do multifunctional so we'll be able to cover both areas so when we do the different types in the server configurations you'll see how that works and we're just going to install everything right on our C drive to our normal installation path and we'll keep our default connections this is the number of connections that connect simultaneously uh, to the server and we'll just keep the, the generic and then here this allows uh, other people to connect to you from the outside so we're going to add the firewall exception to do that and we're going to use the standard character set and then what I also like to do is because we can also do the command line features of MySQL I add it to the Windows bin folder as well and then when it's done you can automatically launch it automatically so it'll show up in the uh, Windows services menu down here and here um, you want to create a password so I'm just going to call it CTU online and then we'll enable root access for remote machines if we needed to and now we'll execute it okay oh, there it goes started the service we applied our security settings and if you notice MySQL is now running over here um, in my Windows Task Manager to get bring up the Windows Task Manager what you do is you right click over the start bar down on the bottom and say Task Manager and then that brings that up so you can see that working so we now know that the SQL Server is installed now the next thing we want to do is install the GUI workbench and this is what we're going to use to actually connect to the SQL database and we'll just let that we'll do a complete install so we have all of our okay that's now there and here is our GUI workbench let me just scale this out here a little bit okay so here it's, is our local instance of the server which you should see and if I actually double click that that will actually open up the SQL server connection and you'll come up to a blank screen like this and a, just a normal test database so the first thing we want to do is create a new schema uh, so to do this um, we can come up here to this database icon so if I go here type CTU CS 362 CTU 362 and you can create your database here it actually shows you the SQL statement to do that and that started your database and here you can create your tables and views so <clears throat> to start this I'm going to actually show you what we're going to be completing in the very end here is my MySQL SQL statements and here they all are and then if I actually execute this and if we take a look if we refresh all over here here's all the tables and everything that we're actually going to be creating so if you want to start off by creating your first database and then starting by grabbing or creating tables along the way that's fine um, for the first assignment so again this is a requirement for this class you have to install the SQL Server um, so download MySQL get her online and look forward to uh, talking to everyone on Sunday.